guys, this is <laughs> episode four. It seems like uh, it's been a bi-weekly podcast, but that's all right. We're going to change it up soon uh, when time does make itself available. But until then, we're going we're gonna to make do with the best that we can. And we're going to get right into Hang With Graz episode four right now. This actually take two, because the first take, I forgot my plug-in microphone. That would not be a good podcaster thing to do, now would it? Luckily, I was only three seconds in. I'm like, huh? Uh huh, I need to plug in my microphone. So here we are, plugged in microphone and all. Plugged in a microphone, ready to rock and roll. And you can check out my channel on YouTube, The Grudge Show, which is where um, you know, part of this podcast will go. We also do sketches. We also do lists there. Uh, we have fun. If you like sports, uh, we have From the Bleachers Sports Show, which is up and running over there as well, full of sports content. And lastly, uh, we also have Grez, which is famous places, filming locations, all types of randomness, all good stuff. Sounds having a just chow down a good old Wendy's. Wendy's sponsor me. Hang with Grez is the name of the podcast. And you can find it on all things um, wherever you get your podcasts. So that's good, right? So how have you guys been? things to get into. I mean, listen, we're still dealing, dealing, dealing with COVID here. Dealing with COVID. Then we have, uh, geez, flying uh, 20 inch bees. <laughs> God. Um, what else do we have? Still got that COVID, the flying uh, 20 inch bees, um, flying birds that look like dinosaurs, <laughs> just uh, everything and anything. And then we got some Florida stories as well. But let's tackle first and foremost Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. And as well, congratulations to me and all you other people out there. Because of me and my world cl- world class love making skills, I made my wife a mother. <laughs> Florist was up 
up and down the block. Sure, they're gonna charge you uh, $30 for like two flowers, right? Is that how much to go for now it is? Something tells me that florists are not non-essential. Oh, wait, something, well, let me rephrase that. Something tells me that florists are considered non-essential. This florist was just open just to uh, try to get away with things, right? At least my, my two cents, I could be wrong. I probably am. <laughs> so, there was an article that I read from the internet. So, if it's from the internet, of course. you always got to do a, a double check, a double take, just as a, a rule of thumb, as a rule of thumb. Anyway, the article that I did want to share with you. Breakfast in bed. Served to mom who just got. Breakfast in bed served to mom who just got eaten out. <laughs> you heard that right. Breakfast in bed served to mom who just got eaten out. This is from Peoria, Illinois. While celebrating Mother's Day local, uh, while celebrating Mother's Day today, local woman and mother of two, Ellen Taylor, Taylor, Ellen Taylor, as you could tell, I never rose, never raised my hand to be a uh, reader, but Ellen Taylor, uh, Ellen Taylor, 38, was reportedly served breakfast in bed by her children mere minutes after being. Eaten out by her husband. Oh, what a treat, said Taylor, while receiving a tray of scrambled eggs, pancakes, and orange juice, sitting up on the same damp, damp sheets upon which she had moments, moments earlier moaned in pleasure as her husband's firm, tug, her firm tongue rapidly contorted in and around her Slick vagina. Strawberry pancakes. My favorite. Upon finishing her Mother's Day breakfast, Taylor repeatedly urged her children to go downstairs and let mommy sleep a little longer. <laughs> Woo! Are you guys hot and bothered by that story? <laughs> and bothered, huh? You might be saying you're not a mom, but this public service announcement and wellness reminder is a very, very helpful and necessary. are hoping for the trifecta of Father's Day, Birthday, and New Year's. I'm sure this is a Mother's Day favorite. <laughs> and listen, reading this every year, this makes me anxious for Father's Day. <laughs> and 
it, this, listen, this article has touched us in places that most people will not go. And that article I shared from you was from The Onion, who, of course, posts nothing but serious content. <laughs> Mother's Day, also known as Colonel Angus Appreciation Day. Yes, I am a cunning linguist. too, Dad? No thanks. I just ate. <laughs> you might ask, why would a comment like that get anger? Well, that's because it's from the woman whose husband's preferred takeout. time of COVID, I'm sure it's probably one of the sweetest stories yet to be heard. It should be a Hallmark movie. <laughs> and listen, I believe it was. Maybe. I think so. Mom already had some salad as, and Mom already had some salad as appetizer, apparently. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and I see, uh, you know, from rumor is, is the banana on the fruit plate is already missing. you might say, was literally up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> Maybe you had some oysters for breakfast, some nom nom noms. here when the, when the kids when they questioned why their father sounded so weird when speaking the mother replied well it's the, the cat that got his tongue smelling his breakfast on his mustache for the rest of the day. <laughs> Area CDC official monitoring monitoring bedroom activity frowns on this before grinning. One might say a, bis uh, a biscuit should be buttered before being consumed. <laughs> Area Gamer Gator does not get the story at all. I bet his face looked like a glazed donut when he was finished. And 
this is a story that um, has reached me and um, ha has made me very emotional. It's, I'm sure it's made you emotional as well. And that's the cycle of life. A cycle of life. A toss salad and scrambled eggs. <laughs> Check me out on Twitter, um, the Tom Brad One. So check out the Grez show. Check out Grez. Uh, you could also, um, from the Bleachers Sports Show, check out all all the humor. It's found everywhere. of crazy things. I mean, when will this end? COVID has been extended. Uh, you know, the lockdown. Just shake your head. local news, you know, just sticking on Mother's Day before we move along here. Unemployed sibling uh, makes last push for group Mother's Day gift. He says, her overheard this, maybe we could all split a gift basket or maybe a gift certificate or something. my job due to COVID-19 and I, and I don't have any money to get you something nice to share for Mother's Day. Mother says I have no son. Decides to cash his stimulus check at his local pot dispensary. Man, was that ever a mistake? Now he has the Colorado cough. remaining employed sibling has to float mom's $75 TJ Maxx gift card. And this man, you know, he hopes the other siblings let him sign the card so mom uh, will know he uh, at least gave it an effort, a college try. His siblings are still waiting for his share of group Christmas gift for mom he had peddled. And quite honestly, maybe mom is going to love her very own unshared, unopened, properly fitting, powder-free, dispensable latex gloves. office this man perhaps has the post office date, date stamp the Mother's Day card envelope five minutes before closing on Saturday so mom knows he was thinking of her before Sunday even though the card is late don't <laughs> don't be that guy don't be that guy no 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 you don't want to be that guy. Come on now. You know better than that. Push 
you do. Of course you do. of uh, some soda, some Pepsi. Pepsi, please sponsor me. <laughs> I do need sponsors. Nothing wrong with little spicers. By the way, did you guys know there was like actual snow yesterday just speaking how crazy these times have been lately jeez yes and that was captured on video made into a vlog on the grudge channel check it out and i just realized too why this is you know why this month is called may listen it may rain it may snow, it may be 70 degrees, it may be 20 degrees, like who knows? Seriously. say that doctor, Mr. Dr. McCoy there, the prestigious Dr. McCoy would have probably developed a cure for coronavirus and tested it on himself by now. Honestly, right? <laughs> My biggest fear right now Speed of murder hornets. I've been saying that like 20 times. I did speak about the hornets earlier on in the podcast, right? We'll get into those. But I worry. It's getting a, uh, a, one of these hornets stuck in my face mask while shoveling snow on a Saturday in May. <laughs> it snowed in May. Snowed in May. Sunday, you know, Friday, Saturday, well, Friday was time to party. Just kidding, you guys were all chilling at home still. <sighs> COVID this, COVID that. The bird feeder's still empty, Karen. Wouldn't tell you to fill it. Signed, Squirrel. <laughs> We got the, 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 the murder when it's July. You're going to have the croc birds. A cross between like flying crocodiles. Flying crocodiles are birds. You guys see those mur murder hornets, right? On um, on TV, right? Like they, that they were... Um, Somewhere in Washington last year, and apparently still in Washington. Look up Arizona tarantula hawk wasp. Arizona tarantula hawk wasp. You're welcome. Got uh, the May got the murder hornets. June's 
threat is uh, is is going to be the man bear pig, half man, half bear, half pig, and it's super cereal. Now, question is, can it beat up dog paced phony soldiers? Dog faced pony soldiers. is a whole but no see I added another half I said half man half bear half pig that's right brilliant by me and you know why I did it because it's 2020 it's just like 110% Totally awesome, right? And then some. <laughs> and that's exactly how Common Core works, my friends. See how how easy that was? People learned simple math. Simple math. Just like that, Wasp and Hornet Spray is $49.99 a can. Now, if the murder. Tommy, why is your camera on in here? Murder Hornets don't work. Well, release the Grizzly Gator. The Grizzly Gators. And they're just a regular bear gator. No hump. Remember, they can be any color between white to brown all the way to black. tank to get around. How about tornado sharks? Dun dun dun. <sighs> How about the fire? Fire ants starting fires. Run for your lives. The sky is falling. L M F M O. I'm laughing my freaking mask off. <laughs> And hopefully this podcast is doing that for you right now. Coming to America in June 2020. A squigger. Be prepared, a squigger. No. Not just a squirrel. It's a combo. Squirrel. Combo. With a tiger. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Maybe you might say that they're lazy as hell unless provoked to appease them with offering a food.